Before we can kill Snake King in the easiest way, we need to do two things. The first one is to reach level 24 with Joker and at least level 23 with Han, Makoto and Yusuke. If you want, you can also use Sophie instead of Yusuke. And the second one is to buy items, the rest of the recipe, the ingredients to make the curry and the coffee and the Gyutan burger. We can do both things at the same time because the shops restocks items every time we kill 5 shadows. So we can beat some enemies, buy items and repeat the circle until we are ready for the boss. One of the best places to kill shadows is the Sendai jail entrance where we can find a lot of enemies. And the best way to kill them is by using skills. Because the HP and the SP recover when you return from the jail. Remember that the best shadows that gives more XP is the one near the statue at the center. After you kill 5 shadows, return to the checkpoint and leave the jail. Now we can talk about the items and the ingredients we need for the fight against the snake. You can buy all of them at the arcade. The first one is the child pineapple at the pineapple store on the right. The second one is the Gyutan Soda at the vending machine on the left of the pineapple shop. The third one is the Gyutan Burger at the Big Ben restaurant, on the right of the vending machine. And the last ones are the ingredients for the curry, and they are the rice, the onion and the pork. All three can be bought at the markets at the far left of the map. The number of items you need depends on the difficulty mode you are playing. In this image I put how many I use for each mod, sub the video if you need. Of course it's possible that you need less or more, but I think the best is to go for more items to be sure you'll beat it without problems. When you reach level 24 with Joker, create Jack Frost, we are going to use him to beat the boss. We also need the skills Tarukaja and Rakunda, for example you can use Mokoi and Jekyll Lantern. There are 4 more things that can help us, and they are the items that restore HP, I put another image with items with the best price, post the video if you need, the Leblanc coffee, but you can create only one for the fight, the rescue pills and the bones. The most useful are magic boost, spiritual arts, at least one point in supportive arts and smart shopper. If you have this bond, you'll find better items that restore HP than the one I talked before. This part depends on how much money you have for the items and how many bonds points you can invest. Now we are ready to talk about the battle. Our main object is to use SP skills and all out attacks until the boss dies or has very few HP and we can finish him off with HP skills. At the start of the battle use Rakunda and the Gyutan Burger. Then consume all the SP with Joker while using Buffala and while using Gajilao and Yusuke while using Bufu. If you chose Sophie, use Koga. Start the all out attack every time you have the opportunity. After you consume all the SP, use free curries, another Gyutan burger and consume all your SP again. Continue like this until you have consumed all the curries. While for Rakunda you can use it every second time you use free curries. When you are using Bufu or Bufala it's possible that you freeze the boss. In this case you can use free HP skills to do technical damage. When you have finished all the curries you can start using items that restore SP only to a member. We need at least 36 SP with Joker. Then we are going to use the rest only on N. Use Rakunda, then Tarukaja on N and spam Ajilao until you finish all the SP items. Reach this point, in case the boss is still alive, you can use another Rakunda and start using HP skills with Yusuke to kill it. In case you choose to have Sophie in the party, you can use HP skills with Joker, and the best persona you can equip is Archangel with Giant Slice, if you level him up, if not, the best one is Orthrus. In easy mode you can spam SP skills without worrying about an enemy's attack, except at the start of the battle before you can stun him for the first time. While in normal and hard mode it's better to be more careful while you're using a skill. So the last things to know are the boss attacks and how to dodge them. There are 6 in total, the attack with the tail, the spear, 
and the skill Matsunga. All three can be avoided with a double jump and a skill or a dodge, or just by running to the side, swift strike where you need to keep your distance, and the last two are Margarondine and Thunder Rain. When the boss is using them, get away, because it's possible that you kill a party member accidentally. That's all, thanks for watching!